Developing today, Project Veritas now reports they've caught a Pfizer executive on camera admitting to some shady profiteering. We'll let the clip speak for itself. It sounds like gain of function to me. I don't know, it's a little bit different. I think it's different. It's like this. It's definitely not gain of function. It sounds like it is. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. The no, direction evolution is very different. Yeah. Well, you're not supposed to do gain of function research with the viruses. Like, yeah. They recommend not. But you do like these like selected directional mutations to try to see if you can make more potent. Yeah. So there, there is research I'm going about that. I don't know how that's going to work. There might not be any more outbreaks to take Jesus Christ. So this is the latest from Project Veritas, James O'Keefe, who does these undercover video uh, operations where he records uh, at people who work for, he's done someone who works at CNN, this is someone who ostensibly works at Pfizer, and uh, the person doesn't know who James O'Keefe is or who the person doing the video is and is you know in a, in a friendly conversation mm -hmm. and ends up telling us something that we might not have known otherwise or, or confirms uh, serious concerns about wrongdoing at these various places. Um, there's been a lot on the, you know, the employees admitting like liberal bias at CNN has mm -hmm. been a previous one. Um, so, so I did watch all 10 minutes of what James O'Keefe released on Twitter. Um, it, I, I will say what this individual says is fair, at least fairly alarming, or at, at least uh, confirms what alarmed people think. Uh, so there he, he talks about, well, they're not, we're not doing gain of function Exactly, we're doing something kind of like that. Talks Structured about evolution. Talks about manipulating viruses. Talks about uh, and actually later makes points that you and I have made explicitly about how well there's it's an open door policy between the regulators and Pfizer, and it's really good for us at Pfizer. It makes us lots of money. Bad, it's bad for like humanity. He explicitly says that. So he says a lot of things that mm -hmm. again are alarming to people who are concerned about this. Uh, the caution I would urge here is James O'Keefe released 10 minutes. It is edited. It's not just like there's no full transcript of this conversation. Yeah. Um, and I, I say this repeatedly, and I, I know he has a lot of fan. And I, I'm not saying the work he is doing has no is not valid or is not useful. I'm, I'm saying the opposite of that. I think this is valid, and I think this is useful, and I want to know more about it. But I always have to urge a little bit of caution because he, he does it. It's not done fully transparently, like sure. we don't have the raw footage, we don't have the raw transcript. I don't know what this person thought the arrangement was when he went into this conversation. And like, if you, if you get under, under a, a fraudulent understanding of what a conversation is, if you're lying or exaggerating or misrepresenting yourself in a conversation, what is your guarantee that the other person isn't doing that as well? Yeah, they're, they're people do puffery and try to make themselves right. seem more important and exaggerate. Where they're drinking, they're, right, making themselves sound more important. So, and this individual, this, so this video dropped last night, I believe. So that I, I, like everyone else, started looking up this, this individual uh, who's been identified as Jordan Tristan Walker, uh, supposedly a Pfizer director of research and development and strategic operations. So in that video, he said, quote, one of the things Pfizer is exploring is like why we don't just mutate COVID ourselves so we could create preemptively developed new vaccines, right? So we have to do that. If we're going to do that, though, there's a risk of like, as you could imagine, no one wants to be having a pharma company company mutating effing viruses. So I went looking for this individual, and you can find very little evidence of him on social media. No now, LinkedIn? So is people he... have found what they believe is his LinkedIn, and it, it looks plausible that in the time between this video dropping and now, he deleted his, or took out all the other identifying information, or the I work at Pfizer stuff. There's not a lot on him. Uh, I, people are saying that's because it's being scrubbed from the internet, which that, that checks out. So I, I don't think that's, that's not a conspiracy theory. That, that looks plausible to me. Mm -hmm. But there isn't a lot of verification that, like, I just, I don't know for certain that this person exists and actually does work at Pfizer. James O'Keefe thinks he does and has presented some evidence that he does. I'm just being totally clear. I'm not saying I, I'm disputing that evidence. I would just like to see more before I 100% validate the idea that this person is real and works for, for Pfizer. But, but also, I, can we get to why this information is important and whether or not it's in fact novel? I mean, the things that he is saying, you know, quote, from what I've heard, it's Pfizer scientists are optimizing the COVID mutation process. 
but uh, they're, they're going slow because everyone is very cautious. Obviously, they don't want to accelerate it too much. I think they're trying. what they're trying to do is an exploratory thing because you obviously don't want to advertise that you're figuring out future mutations. I mean, this sounds kind of like gain-of-function research, but what do we know about, has Pfizer already admitted to doing gain-of-function research? Is that a new admission? Or is what he's saying here that they, in fact, know that they can't do gain-of-function research, but it would be good uh, you know, a, a, a thing to pursue if you wanted to preemptively come out with vaccines. Oh, from I, the I think variants. there's there's no doubt that what he's saying, if they're doing that, is super shady. I mean, because he says they're doing one thing and not admitting that they're doing that. So regardless of if you characterize it as gain of function or regardless of legal status, he's saying publicly so they're saying that, we do this. That we and don't privately, mutate vac- we don't mutate viruses in order yeah. to anticipate new vaccines. He said privately we are discussing in meetings doing things that the public is against that we're not admitting to the public we're doing. So so what he is saying on face value is definitely newsworthy and bad in my view. The complicating factor is that maybe this is boastful or exaggerated or he's wrong because he's drinking with with a stranger or with someone who thinks he is a friend and and also we don't I don't know for sure what his role is in the company. He could be exaggerating his role in the company. I don't know for sure that he works there. Those are all the things that I'm less certain about. What he's saying if you know, it's a big if true kind of deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think people will be alarmed. It's, or at least it's confirming things we're suggesting. He's talking about how, yeah, they can get anything approved because it's easy because they have so much cooperation between lobbyists and, and regulators, et cetera. He, even, he talks about explicitly how, how the same deal works for weapons manufacturers. That is the same thing, that the people who, who there are people in the government it's a revolving door between weapons contractors and government. He's describing things you and I are describing all yeah, the time. Yeah, this was in, my like, radar really yesterday, detail. Yeah. all about uh, the new Biden chief of staff, who was a, par- a big pharma profiteer for his entire career before he became the COVID czar, yeah. and now this. So yeah, that, I mean, all of that's uh, fair, fair play. I'm just really curious. I mean, if it's true, I guess I'm still trying to understand the big part. Do we not know that Pfizer does? Is, this, is it news that Pfizer is doing gain-of-function research? Do we know that they've done it, but they said they stopped in the past? Do we know that it's been happening, but not in the United States or not at Pfizer, not at a, spe- a specific facility? Are there bans on gain-of-function research, or is it just a, a kind of politically— well, f- federally, federally funded gain-of-function research has been halted. But so if is... you're getting grants from the government, you okay. can't do it. So again, I'm, so I'm just And then there's to also out. a debate over what qualifies as gain-of-function. Right, so I'm what just Rand to... Paul says qualifies as it— and what Dr. Fauci says qualifies as it are different things. So I'm just trying to figure out what the there there is. Is it that Pfizer is doing something that's like untoward looking because of the implications of that this kind of research could have started the whole pandemic in the first place? Or are they actually breaking the law and doing something that they're forbidden from doing? I mean, we know we know that gain the function research research happens. The, the, the there is is that according to this person, behind closed doors, they are having conversations about manipulating COVID right. to create vaccines, and publicly they're saying they're not doing but that. But look, well, regardless of whether it's technically it's, illegal, it's or not. one thing to disclose to not reveal that information because you're doing something illegal, mm-hmm. or you're doing something that's prohibited. It's another thing to not disclose the information because you know it's bad optics and companies aren't under an obligation to tell you every you ever. Well, sure, but I think it's on. I think it's a there there either way. Yeah, I, I think I, it's very. I, I'm, not, I think it's I, I'm not saying it isn't. I'm just trying to understand what the implications of this is. Is it oh my gosh, someone needs to go to jail? Mm-hmm. There needs to be an investigation. They're doing dangerous activity that's been prohibited because it could start a, a pandemic, or. Is it a, a corporation doing what corporations do? Not that that insulates them from criticism, but are they are they doing what they're doing and they keep it private because rightly or wrongly there is a belief that the the, the kind of activity that they're doing is dangerous and would be bad for. Audience. But he says they're lying about what they're doing, so that that's bad whether it is technically illegal. Well, or this not, is where the puffery but... comes in. Are you are you lying? Or are you just not disclosing facts about how a company mm-hmm. operates? Are you misrepresenting what you're doing, or are you just choosing not to tell the world because it's, there's no obligation for you to do so? Well, I, but that could be that could itself be. You could argue they should be disclosing what they're actually doing because, given their generous the generous funding by the government that helps pay for their research, that, that we the taxpayers, the citizens deserve well, to know, said, given this tremendous overlap. You said that there's a ban on government funded gain of function research. So if it's actually what right. they're doing is improper and illegal, then that's obviously newsworthy, but if it's not because it wasn't actually government funded, 
I don't know. I'm I think, just, it, I'm I think it's to newsworthy because it's improper. What he is, again, what he is saying is that they are misleading the public about what they do behind closed doors. That was what this person alleged. But this person could be wrong. This person could be not an employee of Pfizer. This person, is there, that's where all of my questions are, uh, which is and also typically what's where my being questions described, are with James O'Keefe type stuff. I mean, uh, the way he put it, he said it wasn't again a function research. It's not right. like I'm not a scientist, so yeah. the things that sound similar to me may or not be like actually that similar. He says something about like structured evolution. Does that mean you're just kind of, you know, right. um, replicating the virus and allowing it to mutate in its natural way, um, as opposed to doing genetic right. modification on the virus, and are there different danger levels from doing one versus another? I, I, I would need, like to know we that. We would need more information, yeah. and, and this is my frustration with this format. We would need, if it was an article, or if I could read an entire transcript yeah. of what they said, or if it was in an article to describe, here's how we met this individual. Here's how, are, are they aware? With James O'Keefe, they're usually not. Are they aware? How many of cocktails have they had tonight? <laughs> yeah, right, these are all very relevant facts. You know, what, yeah. what is this person's job? How high up does he work? Yeah. Um, which that's, it, they drop the video, they characterize it. He has that Dr. Malone is gives some commentary in part of the video who's a very, very anti-vaccine uh, voice. Mm. Um, and, and, then, and then later there's like additional tweets like, oh yeah, here's the, like, the screenshot of who this person is or something. Okay, I, I need more mm -hmm. to verify, but. Project verify, project verify. Yeah. <laughs> what again, I'm not saying because it's, it's, it's <laughs> bad or it shouldn't be listened to. People yeah. accuse me. Of like having some some beef with James O'Keefe or something. I, I'm not. I'm not saying. I think this could be valuable. Uh, I just. I want to know more. Yeah. Want to know more. Fair enough. We have reached out to Pfizer for comment, and we'll keep you updated if they get back to us. And we'll have more rising right after this. <laughs> 